Okay. So what happened with last week? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, all right, Taurus. The card that you guys have for uh, the Queen of... Uh, sorry, the card that you have for the, uh, the underlying for the week is the Queen of Swords. Um, so this is about um, speaking your truth, kind of being more detached with your emotions. But this also speaks of um, being able to communicate clearly, um, thinking logically and analytically. Okay, um, so whew, hopefully everything was alright from last week. You guys had a really good reading last last week. Um, the present, um, sorry, what's going on right now as far as your the problem circumstance is the Queen of Pentacles. Now, I don't want to know. I don't want to say you guys are the problem, um, but I think something in regards to being more grounded, that person that's more is good with making money, um. Someone that's uh, very organized and grounded. They're having... This is the... There's an issue with that perspective in that... Um, in that placement. Um, in that... Um, with these characteristics. This could also be something to do with your partner. Someone that you see as your partner. Or this could also mean someone that you're, that you're seeing. Which is a uh, Taurus Virgo. Or uh, Taurus Virgo or Capricorn. You can also even be uh, married to or dating somebody. Or your relationship partner is someone that is a uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius. Um, so this could have something to do with you guys. The problem probably could lie with you guys. The heart of your reading has an issue within yourselves. Or this could mean that your partner is coming up as more of the issue right now. Um, and what's crossing that is the um, the Hierophant. The, this is, the card is typically means about conformity. Um, this is also speaking of rules, traditions, structure, routine. Um, this, the card that rules this, Taurus. Um, are y'all having issues with yourselves right now? Are you guys, what's, what's going on? What's, what's happening? Maybe this... The, the problem here is maybe not being stable or not or maybe having religious issues or traditional issues um the traditional factors are coming into play with you guys um perhaps there isn't any structure there's no rules at the moment it's pretty much lax um ew. but that's weird you got the queen of pentacles which is could be a taurus virgo capricorn and you have the card for taurus um, maybe you guys aren't acting like Torians right now. Um, the crowning energy is the Three of Cups. Support. Um, letting your friends help you. That is the advice for this, for this, uh, for this section. Um, maybe even giving support? Huh. Huh. That's weird. Mm, either, this is speaking of you guys giving support. Getting support, or um, or you know, com conversating and com uh, interacting with your community a little bit more. Maybe you guys are kind of feeling um, kind of stuck in the house. Maybe you guys are kind of living in a kind of, or you guys are kind of, you know, not interacting with people very much. Um, so this is talking about having, yeah, you know, going out with friends, you know, living life. Um, the Queen of Pentacles. She works and stuff. Yes, she's a hard worker. She's very organized, but she's also kind of a homebody. You know, that's she's, I mean, even though cancer, you know, she it rules the fourth house, which is about home and family and other things. But Taurians, you guys usually, especially because I'm a Taurus moon and I, I, I can speak from experience. The home is comfortable. Okay. Relaxing is comfortable. Um, but it can get a little lonely. It can get a little, um, it can get boring and stuff sometimes. So maybe this, um, you know, doing the same old thing, doing the same routine, is starting to get a little boring. And you got to have a little fun. So the three of cups possibly means just hanging out with friends, guys. It's just time to, you know, have some fun. Let's let loose. Okay. Um, the um, nine of cups in your past. So in the past, you guys got your, your wish. That was wonderful. Um, things happened for you. You manifested it. It came true. Okay. Um, but in the present though, you have the 10 of swords. This is the worst is over. 
Oh, per- currently, you could be facing some some betrayal. But this is the ending of a cycle, right? So, whatever happens in this time, whatever intense thing has happened, it's over now. It's going to be over. And it's a good thing, too, because you have the fool in your future. So, um, back to the Ten of Swords really fast. Um, this, Like I said before, this could speak of... Um, just kind of being completely done with something um like putting that shit to death if that makes sense to you uh but hopefully you guys haven't received any sort of betrayal anything broken in regards to traditions um maybe there's some blunt communication um but the worst is over the worst is coming the worst is over if you guys are getting this card now okay um or the worst, you know, or there's some stuff happening right now that's getting close to the end here. But you have a new beginning coming right up in your future, right? Let's go ahead and clarify this reading because this is looking all crazy. All right. Queen of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. Let's see what's going on with Queen of Pentacles here. Okay, the Queen of Pentacles is being clarified by the Page of Swords. So possibly there is some uh, message being received to the Queen of so- Queen of Pentacles in a very blunt way, kind of less not so tactic, not not so um, um, tactful. I mean, so um, mm. <sighs> yeah, this is um, maybe you guys were speaking a little more bluntly. You guys are speaking your truth right now, which is good. Um, huh. Is there some, re- some there were some messages received that were not very, maybe not the nicest thing to hear, but it was definitely honest. There was something definitely true. Possibly there's some spying going on in the, in the Queen of Pentacles. Mm. Hmm. Somebody's spying on y'all, or you're spying on your partner, or so you're spying on a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. I don't know. I don't think so. It could be. I, I don't know. Okay, let's go ahead and clarify the Hierophant. The Six of Cups. So, nostalgia, the past. Um, maybe this is feeling stuck in the past. Um, maybe in, stuck with past traditions and um, past routines. Um, that's, that's coming up as an issue at the moment. This is coming up as a factor in um, communicating truth to the queen of cups or you communicating truth is kind of you know being you know sticking to old ways sticking to old habits okay uh we really interesting um all right why does the three of cups come up why does the three of cups come up for the crowning energy why is he speaking these things Why is it speaking these things? Okay, um, the Five of Swords. Okay, Oof. so this is like speaking with this is about ruthlessness, getting to this victory, doing everything that you need to do, um, to get what you get what you desire. It may be an empty victory towards it because you did everything that you needed to do, and it may not have been nice, but you got what you needed. Um, so. The seven of cups there, this could mean um focus on your friends at this, at this time. Um, because also this is about concentration, dedication. Because I mean it takes some dedication to get what you want. And if you do what you need to do, you'll get what you want. It don't mean it's gonna be nice. Um but oh shoot, letting your friends help you and focus on possibly friendship right now. Weird. That's weird. Let's pull one more card for that just to be because I am confused. Hmm. Okay. Temperance. Moderation on all things. Okay, yeah. Uh so you know, focus on your friends, moderate moderation on all things. Um you know, just you know uh, you know, speaking your truth, uh, oof, speaking, 
the five of swords would also be more selfish. So perhaps you guys need to, you know, be more selfish. Or work on or work on your selfishness. Uh, interact with your friends. The temperance is also about divine timing, so in the meantime, just moderate everything. Divine timing has got your back. Alright, let's let's go ahead and actually let me pull one more card for the for the higher practice. That is just crazy. What is this? Eight of Pentacles, work, progress, dedication. So there isn't any dedication to the craft right now in regards to this to the to the to past traditional um habits possibly. Gee whiz. Um So this is like feeling stuck in the past. No progress. Just kind of being stuck right now. This is static energy here that I'm getting. This is static. Uh, the Eight of Pentacles, uh, even though it is doing something, it doesn't... It To me, it's uh, when it's in that placement to clarify all those things, there isn't really work being done at the moment. There isn't really any action being taken. So, so not only are you kind of like not doing anything, there's no structure, there's no routine or anything. Um... You're also kind of stuck in the past as well. Hmm. Maybe you guys having are having a hard time speaking your truth because you're still stuck in the past. Or maybe this isn't a very traditional relationship because the Six of Cups is also you know past life relationships card, the soulmate card. So maybe this tr this rela this relationship isn't traditional, and you don't know really how to go about putting in the work or there isn't any progress towards anything it's just maybe you're just more focused on work and not really looking at you know the passion which you see this fire behind them so huh it's very interesting why is the nine of cups in the past what's going on what card is in regards to the nine of cups please wow this two of swords you guys are getting a lot of swords in here, man. Whoa. Um, the two swords. Uh, this, um, f holding the, keeping the balance of a difficult situation, um, that you don't want to deal with. This is also making a decision about a, um, a difficult situation, um, that you're, you, that you don't want to see. So you end up possibly putting this, uh, the swords down, keeping that balance. You know, you know, you stop keeping the balance. You're like, you know what? It's time for me to drop these swords. And you got your wish. In the process of that, possibly. Wow. Um, so maybe perhaps you guys didn't make your wish. It was just a difficult, this dis difficult decision to make towards a wish, or maybe there was a difficult situation and you wished it would end, possibly. Because you do have the Ten of Swords in the present now. Okay, and it the worst being over is due to some action being taken. So the Three of Wands comes up in the present to clarify. There's some action that has been done based off of what you manifested, what you manifested in the past. And it's leading to the ending of a cycle. So you're in the process of an ending of a cycle right now. Due to some action being taken. Okay, okay. Um, Jesus. And to clarify the, um, the fool in the future, you have the queen of wands. This is someone that's passionate, driven, someone that's very active, uh, very social, um, right the life of the party. Okay. Uh, so perhaps you see in the beginning being more confident and being more social, being more out there, hanging out with friends, having a good time. That's good to see in your future, guys. It's really good to see. Wow. Okay. Um, the outcome of the result of that is deciding which way you want to go. We're deciding which path you're going to take. What steps are you going to be making next? Because you're stuck at a crossroads. You can't go forward from here. You got to. You kind of. From when when you get to when you're done with all of this, you had to make a decision. Because at this point. There's no more going forward. You have to either make a left or a right. Alright. So that's good. That's good to see. Decisions, decisions. And it's because 
to clarify that as well is that the end is over like the the worst is over so you can clearly make a decision in um in a direction that benefits you okay that's really interesting wow that's very different from last week guys definitely different from last week huh Okay. Pull a romance angel card for y'all this week. Pull a romance angel card for Taurus, please. Romance angel card for Taurus. 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 Wow. new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings wow that's good that's interesting guys very interesting some of you guys could be meeting some new love um right now huh hmm maybe 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 there isn't some blunt communication. I mean, there could be some blunt communication being re received to you guys at this time. Um, it could be, honestly, that um, you guys are starting a new way of communicating. Because you do have the Queen of Swords as the underlying energy here. So, with... The, with the page of swords coming up that to clarify the queen of swords maybe you guys are being more being more honest about how you talk you're being more honest speaking your truth way more now there's just a sense of communicating guys that you guys um that you guys are having but it's kind of what was keeping that communication from really coming out there or you guys what you guys are communicating is you know um traditions that are just kind of like the traditional factors you guys are communicating traditional factors differences in communication or in, in traditions or rather um this you maybe you're feeling a little like maybe there's some stuck energy in regards to the past there's kind of like you're you're just your your thoughts and everything is kind of being it, it like related to the past your feelings are still like in the past there and there's not really a lot of work going on and you're you're trying to communicate that or you're having a hard time communicating that hmm let's pull a wisdom oracle card for this week <sighs> okay so we got tick tock y'all tick tock huh okay let's go ahead and read the essential meanings and the oracle message for this We'll also go ahead and read the relationship message for that as well. All right. Timelessness, um, di divine timing, immeasurable time. Again, the t divine timing, you got temperance. That is divine timing. The Oracle's message. When humans created time, everything changed and contracted. People have come to look at life in a linear way, imagining that the path, so, sorry, imagining that the past is behind them in the future ahead of them. But what if it truly isn't at all? What if everything creative, beautiful, um, what if everything, everything create, uh, sorry, what if everything, creativity, beauty, chaos, and order were happening now in a glorious timelessness? You have all the time in the world to coexist with life you deserve. So release your agenda. Let go of your need to shape um, to shape each moment to your expectations. Knowing that what is yours will never be withheld from you. Miracles are here right now. And always show up and always show up when you need them right on time. Wow, that can explain a lot, guys. With the creativity the chaos, the beauty, and the order. Okay, like I said before, the um, the Hierophant, I don't know if I said in this reading or past readings, but the Hierophant is about order, it's about structure, it's about traditions, it's about the way things are, it's about conformity rules, okay? Um, but 
when it's reversed or when you're reading it in a negative way, it's about chaos. It's about things not going against the traditions, things going against the rules, not conforming, okay? And then they brought up the past here, guys, okay? So there is some there is some stuff that's coming back up for y'all, okay? Maybe this is some discussions about the past. Or maybe something hasn't ha exactly over yet. Or maybe you're feeling stuck in the past because the past hasn't actually come over. And oh, there's work to be done. Okay? Uh, the relationship message. Love, the fulfillment of desire, and even the body's reproductive uh, cycles have their own timetable. Some things are preordained and cannot be coerced. Um, everything has its seasons. It's divine and appropriate timing, especially when it comes to matters of the heart. Remember that you always have enough time for love to, to find it, to nurture it, to give and receive it. Its clock is eternal and ticking, uh, it's ticking according to the beats of your heart in perfect rhythm. Is the isn't it that isn't that wonderful to know? Love is always right on time. Huh. Wow, guys! Wow! 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 Well, this is about you know this is about thinking and being analytical. So this week is pretty much all about being speaking your truth, seeing things from a logical perspective. Being open, speaking your truth, and guys, it's obvious that it's possibly talk about you guys speaking your truth, communicating with your partner about truth. Um, this new love can be kind of, could have something to do with an ex for some of you. Um, it's against traditions. Maybe this is just something you're not used to doing. This is totally going against rules and conforming. So, um, you know, um, best thing I can say right now is to spend time with friends, get help from friends. Maybe this is a time for you to be more selfish and, you know, get that victory, you know, focus, dedication, be more dedicated, focus, because the five of swords is about, you know, concentration and focus, because with you, when you focus, you do what you need to do to get what you get to what you want. It may not be the best, it may not feel good when you get it, but it will at least be done. You know what I'm saying? Um, and divine timing has got your back. So just moderate. It was all, you know, keep moderation in all things. Balance everything out. Do everything that you need to do because the universe got you as well. Um, the worst is over, guys. That's the good thing about the Ten of Wands. The Ten of Swords, excuse me. And you took action, okay? There's action to be taken now because the worst is over. And it's good to have, it's good to see that you guys see yourselves more confident and more passionate in the future with this new beginning, or perhaps see, going off of this new beginning with, with uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Um, and the results is making a decision. Making a decision because where that ending was, you can't go back, you can't go forward. So you gotta make, a, you gotta make some turns, you know what I'm saying? So I think that's good. <laughs> 